Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about making Artifactory your local Maven repository. So I'm over at the JFrog page. It's I'm at the open source page. I want to install Artifactory, which means first downloading the zip file. Now, I've actually done a little bit of tomfoolery here. I've already downloaded it, so I can probably click cancel on that download. There it is in all 95 megs of its glory. Looks like we've got Nexus there as well. I'm going to focus on Artifactory. And I'm just going to extract that zip file. And inside that zip file, there is some Artifactory goodness um, with the bin directory and everything. And really, this represents the entire Artifactory local Maven repository. I'm going to rename this file just for a second. I always like doing this. I'm going to put an underscore at the beginning and take off all of that trailing information. And then, so I'm going to take that Artifactory file. I'm just going to copy it to the C drive. Then I'm going to open up a, a DOS prompt and I'm going to move into the bin directory of Artifactory. And now I'm going to actually start Artifactory. But I have a feeling that I might actually get a, a memory error. So let's take a look. And it does. It says it can't reserve enough space and memory on the heap for this object. That's uh, not uncommon, especially if you're on a virtual machine. That's just uh, solved by going into the Artifactory's bin directory and editing that batch file. Should have a couple of options in there. Edit it with Notepad. And I think we've got XMS, XMS. We've got this using a two gigs here. I don't think that's necessary. So I'll use 1024 instead. Click Save and then go back in here and try and rerun the application. And as you can see, it's no problem. We're going to not allocate two gigs of memory to Artifactory. And once done, everything should start up. And now it looks like Artifactory is successfully installed. That means it's time to go and log in. So localhost 8081 should do it. That will redirect us to Artifactory's web app. And when we get here, we'll probably want to log in so we've got access to all of the neat features of Artifactory. And so username is just admin. Password is just password. We log in and we get this really handsome design. Lots of interesting things here. A little bit of a push to go to some of their professional products, but uh, we don't have to be tempted by that. And once I'm in Artifactory, the next thing I want to do is just do a quick setup. So there's a quick setup option right there. It says, hey, do you want to create a, a basic repository for Gradle or Ivy or Maven? And Maven is the one that I'm actually interested in, so I'll highlight that click create and now you notice that Artifactory has created the local snapshot and the local release repositories for me. If I click finish, go over and take a look at my actual repositories and see I've got a whole bunch of different items there and the one that I'm interested in right now is the local release database and so let's say I want to actually just deploy a jar file to this. Now there's a variety of ways you can deploy a jar file but one of them is manually, and I've actually got a little repository here on my file system. It's called Mavenspiration, or all of our inspired Maven stuff, and that's actually just uh, available over on GitHub. And you can see it's Mavenspiration there, and uh, not too much that's interesting about that. The only thing that's interesting is just one Java file, nothing crazy there. And a POM file, of course, that's got my uh, grab in there, the group ID, the artifact ID, and the version. That may come in handy in a moment, so I'll leave that open. Um, and also, I've done a, a build in this folder. So I've actually got my jar file, maven.-tutorial-101-jar, based on, obviously, what was in the uh, POM file over here. 
but I actually want to move this into Artifactory. So here I go. I've got the uh, libs release local. I want to deploy to that. So I click on the deploy button. Um, it says, hey, just drop your file here. So that looks pretty easy. I'll take my Maven tutorial file. I'll drop it into that directory. Take a look at what other information it wants. It's found the group ID, found the artifact ID, found the version. So notice that it's a jar file and there's no classifier. I like that. I'm going to click deploy. It has to successfully deployed this particular jar file. And now if I look at the libs release repository, there it is. You can find it right under that uh, release local folder. Um, and I can even go down here and it gives me reference and dependency information for including this in the Maven build, an Ivy build, even a Gradle build and SBT build as well. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, just uh, it's fairly straightforward, easy to download, easy to install, and easy to upload a jar file to that Maven repository. Now, in subsequent tutorials, we'll take it a bit further. We may incorporate this into a, a Jenkins deployment. Uh, we may do a, a manual upload from a Maven build file. Um, but getting started, being able to in download, install, configure, and upload a jar file to JFrog Artifactory. Well, that's a pretty good accomplishment for the first tutorial here.